Hi, this is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, December 8th, through this coming Sunday, December 14th, 2014. So this week I'm going to talk about mind speak. What's going on, that tape that runs inside of your head? Um, we've had added intensity this week with the full moon that was day before yesterday on Saturday. And this is already a very emotional time of year for many people. A lot of added stress coming with the holidays. So give yourself a boost and, added, and an added support system by being mindful of what's going through your thoughts. What's that tape that rolls in your head that I call mind speak? Because those thoughts are creating your attitude and your well-being, not to mention your thoughts create your reality. So this is about having a little bit of control with your energy and the energy around you. This is about not letting your ego run wild. Don't let cynical thoughts set the tone. Don't degrade yourself. Don't focus on negativity, don't focus on drama, and don't keep repeating a story that doesn't serve you. Repeatedly telling in your head a woe is me story, that only serves to degrade you. And, you know, the purpose of mind speak is to be in charge of your life, is to be in charge of the energy around you and not just reacting. So speak to yourself as you would your most cherished loved one, because you are. And one of the ways that I tell people to do this is, you know, early in the morning when you're first waking up, or if you wake up in the middle of the night and you, you find yourself tossing and turning a little bit and you can't get back to sleep, just say in your head, I love you. I love you. Everything's okay you're all right, you're protected, you're surrounded by love and help, and I love you. Or I love me. Whatever is appropriate for you, but you need to get into the comfort zone with loving yourself because you've got, you've got to be able to love yourself before you can love someone else. So, and this is going to cover all of your mind speak. Again, speak to yourself as you would your most cherished loved one. Make your mind speak empowering. Make it positive and affirming. Take charge of your life by careful dialogue in your head that honors you. And catch yourself immediately if you are not saying only the most positive, loving things in your head. Catch that immediately and correct your thoughts. And um, I want to add here that it's okay to have a sense of humor. Like, I think a sense of humor is really, really important, and I encourage it. But just make sure that that mind speak in your head, that mind humor, is guided by love and not guided by negativity, not guided by being cynical. So the quickest and easiest way to take charge of your life is to have these most empowering, positive thoughts fueling you. And, you know, it's the holidays. So if there is someone who just drives you crazy, please send them love and light and ask your guides to ask their guides to wrap them up in a cocoon while also shielding you for them. If you ask your guides to do this for you and you can see and feel it is done, then you're going to receive relief around this person. You're going to find that this person doesn't bug you as much as they did. But, and here's the big but, once you allow them back into your energy field, they're going to drive you nuts again. So be mindful of that as well. You, once you've set that shield around you and you've placed them in that loving light cocoon, let them go. Let them fall away. If they're there, you know, at your holiday celebration, 
just focus on someone else. Focus on other things and watch what's going on in your head. Be in charge of your energy and allow all these good things to come into your life. So I've pulled the cards for this week. We are using two ducks. The first deck we're going to use is Archangel Oracle Cards, a Doreen Virtue deck, and another of Doreen's decks, which is Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. So I've pulled the cards. We've got our three rows. The top row is money, middle row is your success, and the bottom row is your well-being for this week. So let's turn these over and see what we've got. So here's the money row. Move down a little bit. And we'll go over each one of these and each row to give you a complete reading for the week. It's nice positive energy here, nice productive energy, productive message I can see coming through here. Energy, energy healing. All right, we all, nope, let's move them up. Get every bit of it on screen so you can see it completely. There we go. All right, starting with your money row. The first two cards, we have break free and you are safe. So I can tell by all these cards, this is a very energetic week. And it could be the full moon, it could be the holidays, the time of year. Whatever it is, this is reminding you that you're taken care of, that you're surrounded by help. And you can specifically call on Archangel Michael to put added protection around you, added shields, to cut any cords of people that are draining your energy. And realize that not only you are protected and taken care of, but also your family and your home and the things that you value. This is your money row, so you're safe. If there is a risky decision that you need to make around money this week, go ahead and connect to your council. I talk about this all the time and ask them for help. Tell them your intentions and thank them for the guidance that you need to make the decision because you are safe, you are protected and you're, you know, things are going to flow for you. This is um kind of what I talked about last week, changing your perspective, this breaking free. It's about, you know, broadening your horizons, trying new things, realizing that you're safe. So it's okay to take a little bit of a risk. It's okay to allow those things that, you know, that tender little underbelly of vulnerability. It's okay. Break free, try some different things. These new ventures and experiences are going to allow more money into your life, a better flow of that money energy. So the second two cards we have, we've got Chakra Clearing and Helpful Person. So this is Archangel Metatron, and your chakras are the energy centers in your body. There are seven main ones that run from the base of your spine to the top of your head, and you can go on YouTube and find all kinds of useful and meaningful and effective chakra clearing meditations that you know don't last a long time. Or you can just visualize this yourself in your head. There's also music you can download that's you know, attuning you to your chakras. But this is about clearing your energy. And however that works for you. Find something um, effective and simple. It doesn't, you know, it's not about spending money or anything like that. L aligning your energy is grounding to earth. It's breathing deeply. It's seeing 
you know, yourself cleared of any negativity and anything that's been bogging you down. And especially around money, because money is only energy. Money is the same as air and water and sunlight and food. You need it to live here on earth. So allow that money to flow to you. You don't need to overanalyze it and question it because you don't overanalyze and question those other things in your life, like when your next glass of water is coming or your next breath of air. Money is the same energy. And there's someone who wants to help you. So be willing to receive. I know it's easy to give and sometimes it's hard to receive. So look around you in your life Who's there to help you with money? Who's there to help you clear your energy in all ways? And allow that person to give to you. Allow that person to give you advice, to give you any kind of helpful guidance that you need to bring better money flow into your life. Because we're on your money roll. So I love the last cards on money. We've got Clairaudience and Alchemy. Alchemy, there couldn't be a better card probably for the money row. Because alchemy is that you are creating it. It's happening. You know, get out of your way and allow yourself to do things. Realize that you're safe. Break three, free. Try some different ways. Allow someone to help you. Because what you take on right now is going to be successful. Go ahead, if there's a project you're thinking about in your head, start taking the steps. Start taking some action and see the flow. See that it works. And this goes back to mind speak that I was talking about. And this goes back to a communicating with that beautiful council that surrounds you all the time because they are giving you guidance. And it's coming to you from this helpful person it's coming to you from getting your energy in order and it's coming from you realizing that you're safe and trying new ventures. But those thoughts that pop in your head. So when you get up in the morning and all of a sudden you have this great idea, don't sit and ask yourself, where did that come from? Realize that's guidance. It's perfect. Don't analyze and question where it came from because you're going to shut the energy down you've asked for help so allow it to come to you and allow it to turn all these projects into gold to bring the money flow into your life that's already yours that you deserve so now we're going to move on to your well-being and the first two cards we've got breathe and simplify your life this card I feel like has been coming up a lot for people lately in all every deck I ever use. Clear the clutter. Clutter bogs you down. Clutter in every aspect. It can be your desk is piled up or your garage is piled up or your basement is piled up or your thoughts are piled up or you know your money energy is piled up with debt or things that you don't know how to deal with simplify these things. You're going to feel so much better if you just start somewhere. Just take it one tiny step at a time, but start organizing things. Just, you know, you don't have to become compulsive, but organizing things in your life so there's flow. There's flow for money. There's flow for success. There's flow for well-being. And one of the ways to start this is to breathe. Just sit down, take a couple of breaths, realize it, you're, you've got help around you. You know, if there's overwhelming things in your inbox or in your email box or, you know, even your refrigerator needs cleaning out, just one step at a time. And when you've cleared some of this clutter, you're going to breathe better. It's going to release any blockages and things that are bogging you down and things that are dragging on you. And it's going to clear energy. You know, clutter can also be emotional things. You know, things that you need to clear emotionally. These are habits and patterns and core beliefs 
that you don't need any anymore. If someone told you something once that was very negative, you don't have to believe that. You don't have to carry that through your life, whether it came to you as a child or it came to you as an adult. If a friend said, oh, you know, you're never going to be good at this or a boss or somebody else, that has nothing to do with you. The person that told you that had that issue. So don't carry any negative core beliefs with you because they don't serve you. And by believing in them, you're shutting down your energy. Oh, positive energy. Okay, here we go. Surround yourself perfectly with positive people and situations and avoid negativity. And starting with your mind speak. You know, set your intentions. Say your thank yous. Say thank you for surrounding me with people who love and appreciate me. That's a really good basic one for every day that's going to help things flow around you. Another good one is thank you for helping me be guided by love. So anything that you encounter during your day, you're in charge of that energy and you're going to come from your heart, not your mind. You, you know, when you're trying to figure out things just in your brain, it kind of bogs everything down and slows it down. You have got to make decisions from your heart. That's where the flow is. And this is your success row. So teaching and learning are important aspects for you to focus on this week. And this is about, you know, the people around you, maybe at work or... If you're a healer, ways that you need to kick up that energy and help people more effectively. There are people that need to learn from you. And this is also about breaking free right here and being open to learning new things yourself. So beautiful energy. Keep it positive. You are surrounded by positive energy. And you know you have a choice. You can either choose to connect to the positive things around you or you can choose to connect to the negative things around you. And I promise you 100% or 1000%, if you're going to connect to those negative things, you're wasting your energy, you're wasting your success, and you're wasting your opportunities. So keep your thoughts positive. Create the life. You know, your life is a canvas. It's a stage. And you're, you're writing the script. You're painting the painting. So go ahead and do that. If you're into music, you're the composer. You're composing your life. So allow the positive things, and we're going to take that up an octave here with stay optimistic. Because your dreams are coming true. And patience, these two cards go together perfectly. If you've been listening to my videos then you've been learning how to communicate with your council, communicating with your spirit guides and all those beautiful entities that surround you all the time that want to help you facilitate living to your highest potential. And it's working. It's in flow. But we're stuck here in this timeline density. So sometimes things seem like they take a long time for us just here in this gravity. So have patience because things are happening. Your dreams are coming true. And please make sure when you get those thoughts in your head, when you get those Bits of guidance that can come to you from anywhere. For each person, there's going to be a special language of how they communicate with you. It could be song lyrics. It can be in your dreams. It can be while you're journaling. It can be during meditation. And it's going to be more than one way. But they're going to give you everything you need to make these dreams come true. So when you're getting those bits of guidance, please act upon them. Your council cannot act upon them for you. They can just sort of hold the puppet strings and say, oh, here, move this way. Oh, here, open this door. Oh, embrace that opportunity. And isn't this a good idea? So Staying optimistic, keeping your thoughts positive, having patience, and taking those steps. 
taking the action based on the guidance that you get is going to make everything happen in your life. All your dreams come true. So that was success, and now we are moving on to well-being. And the first two cards are gentleness and have faith. So <laughs> this card is perfect. You know, we should have just put it right here with these. Staying optimistic, having patience, and having faith. Because everything is happening for you. You've got to remain positive. You've got to follow your guidance. This is everything that I was just talking about. Keep your thoughts positive as well to allow these things to come in for you. And go easy on yourself. Don't beat yourself up because you are surrounded by people who want to help you. And recognize that. Recognize all the assistance you have in your life. And don't twin to anything negative. Don't twin to anything that's not serving you. Don't try and make a situation or a relationship or a job that's a mess work. It's, it's not going to work. Your lesson is to walk away. Your lesson is to see, you know what? This doesn't work for me. I am more worthy of this because I love myself. I'm going to do something that suits me better. This is your well-being. So honor yourself, be gentle with yourself, have faith and realize that everything's happening for you and it's, it's flowing. Ask if you feel you need more signs, ask for them. Tell them you need to see things more effectively. So this is well-being and we've got some father healing here. This is a very emotionally charged card and for your well-being, if you have any issues around your father or male energy in your life, give them to your counsel. Just delegate them and say, I need clarity and understanding for this. Send your father love, whether he's here on earth with you or if he's passed over. Realize that he surrounds you and no matter what happened in your lifetime, he wants the best for you now. And... He's probably part of that loving council that's around you that wants to facilitate in your life all the beauty, all the wonderful, all the highest potential that you came here thinking you were going to effortlessly create in your life and you can get back to that energy of effortlessly creating it. And this, again, they're really emphasizing this week to communicate with that council, to give anything that you're worried about to your guides, to your angels. When you delegate things to them, you're acknowledging that everything is taken care of. It's not that you're not going to deal with things. It's you're, those things are already taken care of. You don't have to figure out details. You just keep your eye on the goal. Here's the goal. Focus on what you want your goal to be and allow that guidance to flow to you that shows you exactly how to handle and deal with every little detail because that's taken care of for you. You are surrounded by help. I keep saying that. So make a wish. <laughs> Remember who you are. This is, again, another higher octave of creating the life you want. This is another higher octave of that positive mind thought. You know, make a wish and see how it comes true. And I tell people sometimes, you know, start with something small. You know, you can ask for the huge, big things in your life that are very emotionally charged, but also ask for some smaller, easier things. And that way you're going to see the results more quickly because you're going, you know, if you ask them for, I don't know, the cure for cancer or, you know, the amazing, wonderful husband, that's coming. But ask him for something simple, you know, more quickly, you know, how to eat better, how to sleep better, what outfit you should wear to a Christmas party, or if you need the perfect gift for someone, ask them to show you that gift, show you what it is that you're, you need to find. And so trusting that when you make a wish, 
and when you express your dreams and set your intentions and say your thank yous, that it is happening. It is manifesting for you. And I love this. This goes back to I love you. I love me. I cherish me. Because you are perfect, whole, and complete. You are spirit. Everyone is spirit. You know, we all have these personalities, but the personalities are sort of energetic agreements that we agreed to come here with at this time to give to other people to teach them things because we learn through relationships. But every single one of us is one, is connected, and is perfect, whole, and complete as spirit. We're not those personalities. We're the souls. So you are powerful and loving, and you are a creative child of God, and you are very loved. So a beautiful card for the whole reading, both of these, for the whole spread, for your whole week. Make your wish. Focus on positive things, and remember who you are, because you are perfect, whole, and complete. So have a wonderful week. I look forward to helping you in any way I can. I do lots and lots of readings. If you don't live near me and you'd like a reading, a phone reading is a wonderful way to understand what's going on in your life, to get your energy cleared, to get any kind of clarity that you need, any kind of decision you need to make. It's a wonderful help and support system that's available to you. So visit my website at spiritpathways.net and have a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye.